Hi everyone, I'm Callie. Welcome back in for another episode of God of War. I gotta say that it was really hard for me to put the game down in my first look. I did not want to stop playing. I can see how this game could be one where you lose track of time and you're just exploring and looking around at all of these sights and sounds and loot to find. And I'm just really, really excited to see where the rest of this storyline is headed. My first look at Kratos in the last episode was was pretty mind-blowing and surreal to see Kratos much, much older hiding out in Midgard and starting another family of his own. Unfortunately, his wife did die and he is left with his son Atreus right now, which I know I was pronouncing his name wrong all last episode. I apologize. I know the apple I pronounced wildly wrong. It's actually Thun because the O with the squiggly above it is pronounced more like a TH, like in the. So that was pretty fun to figure out the vocabulary and some of the pronunciations of this name. So, so far, I am definitely loving everything about this game. The music, the sounds, the feels, the aesthetic, all of the facial expressions and body language that Kratos is giving off is so powerful. I'm not sure if it's because I'm feeling so spoiled hopping into a game that was made in 2018 versus 2005, but this game was so beautifully made and all of the deeper moments in it mean so much more knowing what we know from the earlier games with Kratos. There's still some Kratos rage inside of there. We have a rage meter that goes off and I really, really love that part of him, but he's much, much older. He's calmed down. He's learned from his mistakes. He's had a thousand years to dwell on what happened to him in Olympus with the Olympian gods. He's had so much time to sit and stew and I feel like he's gotten a little bit fearful during this time. I noticed that he has been a little bit distant with Atreus. He's hard on him. I don't know what it is about Atreus getting sick when he gets really angry. If I had to guess, he probably just has some of that Kratos blood in him that is just, he was born that way. Last episode, we were also met by a stranger in our home in Midgard and ended up fighting him to seemingly his death, but I have a strong feeling that we will most likely see him again. He was also very godlike, just like Kratos. They were punching it out. And I'm not really sure where we're going with that stranger or with Odin, because we've also seen Odin's crows kind of keeping an eye on Kratos and Atreus as we trek up the mountain to try to spread Faye's ashes. So I'm looking forward to more of this Odin storyline. I also am very interested in the father-son dynamic between Kratos and Atreus because it's beautiful. And I hope that maybe Kratos can start to open up to Atreus more. I've noticed him kind of wanting to reach out and touch him, but pulling back. I mean, look at what Kratos has been through in the past with his previous family. In a way, he's probably worried that if he shows strong emotions and a strong love for his son, he could be quickly swept away or something could happen. And I think Kratos is just worried to give his heart away. Even though he obviously gave it away to Faye and made a beautiful family with Faye and held out in Midgard and in their little circle of the woods for a while. But it's time now for Kratos to move on. And I think Faye knew that. I wonder if we'll see her in any sort of form again. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing where the rest of the storyline is heading and what the stranger has to do with it all, what Odin has to do with it all. And in the meantime, trekking up this mountain with Atreus and this is a heavy journey for them. And with Kratos being his father, I feel like they're definitely going to run into a little bit more than your average two travelers going up the mountain to scatter mother's ashes. I feel like it's going to be a huge journey for them and I'm excited to see where it goes. Be extra careful out there, you two. The roads are teeming with more than usual compliment of dead assholes lately. You've noticed. Any idea where they're coming from? Maybe they ran out of rooms in hell. Or could be Odin stirring up trouble again. Or maybe they all got lost. Why don't you ask one while he's chewing your face off? Uh, we'll just be careful. Thought so. Sounds like maybe the latter that Odin is sending them on us. But I don't know. All right. So I know that we ventured over 
treasure past this bridge. We got all the treasure there. There's some big door here. I feel like that could be where we're supposed to go next. I'm just going to see what's over here real quick. More of those. Face of magic. All right, so we found the second one. We found the scary mask in the dangerous part of the river pass. Somebody might pay good a hack silver. Okay, so we can sell them. We also have some updates in skills. I'm not sure if it's because we bought one of the skills or if they just unlock over time. But we do have a lot of XP, so maybe I should look through this real quick before we get started. Having a ranged combat move would be pretty nice. I keep forgetting to test out this one. Aim and press R2 for a powerful attack that freezes for a short duration. Okay, so we actually know about that one. This one actually sounds crazy. Permafrost, perform attacks in quick succession without sustaining damage to power up the Leviathan Axe. While sprinting, press R1 to perform a leaping attack. While evading, hold L forward and press R1 to perform a quick axe attack. I think I might get this one for now. It's 500. And then we'll take a look at, oops. In Spartan Rage, hold R1 to deliver a forceful haymaker that knocks enemies backward at great speed. Dang. I think for right now, because Spartan Rage is already amazing when we finally can use it. I think for right now, I might get this shielded combat. I just want to take a look at the bow stuff real quick. We've already unlocked this one. Atreus can... Atreus, sorry. I'm going to try to get better at pronouncing that correctly. <laughs> I feel like I'm in like a habit. I'll get out of it. Atreus can... Atreus. Yeah, Atreus. Atre Atreus. Atreus? Hang on. Using vocabulary and names, including from Norse mythology, so stay tuned to the channel to learn more. Atreus is how it's often said. All right, so we already have this one for Atreus. Can it perform a variety of high stun damage attacks when enemies are nearby? I was going to get... What was the other one that I really liked? I think it was this one. Atreus will help Kratos when enemies are in certain vulnerable states. I feel like that one would be really helpful to have. Increase arrow damage in melee. That one would be really good too. Um, increase the Talon bow's firing rate. I think for right now, I'm going to get this one. How much do I need for this? 500. All right, we'll keep an eye on that one. And then we'll probably do one of these Guardian Shield upgrades next time. Someone also pointed out to me, and I don't know how I didn't realize it before, but Atreus is wearing Kratos's skirt from all of the previous God of Wars. He has that logo on it in the sash, and it's all, yeah, it's just, it's very cool to see him wearing this. Okay, so right now we're still on Path to Mountain. We just need to proceed through probably that big gate over there. We met Brock, a dwarf who made Mother's Axe. Glad we have a friend out here as we try to reach the mountain. It is kind of nice having Brock around. I wasn't expecting, like, I think it's because I'm used to the older games, but the swearing just, like, got me. Brock definitely likes to swear. I'm just making sure. I'm doing, like, a sweep of this area to make sure there's nothing that I've missed before. All right see anything nothing in the trees all right i think we're ready to go through that bigger gate now we've pretty much explored this whole area can we say anything else to him come it was nice meeting you brock i'll be thinking of a name for your beast how about i name her fucking gratitude oh my god we've hey, heard that fucking gratitude see? come over here <laughs> the cursing just wasn't like expecting that because they never really cursed in the older God of Wars. There were tons of boobs, but never cursing. All right, so let's freeze that. Hey, watch your hinds in there. That place can bust you up real good. 
Uh, All right. Yeah. Same. All right. What's this? Oh, it opens it back up. Okay. We don't need to worry about that right now. Oh, look at all the bones. There's a lot of bones in here. Spiky wall? I think we can go through here. All right. Well, that's glowing, so... This way. Okay. All right, we've got another wheel there. Uh, that looks inviting. Yeah, there's like spikes down below. Okay. What's this? Oh, there's a chest in there. I wonder how I get in there. You don't need that health. Oh, okay. Nice. Ooh, we got some steel. All right, so let's look at this. I probably have to... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. Wait there. Oop, all right. Coming from. Oh, it's over there with him. Almost ready. Okay. That wasn't bad. Can he come with me now? Ooh, big one. Oh, jeez. What's happening? <laughs> okay. He's dead. I think I was like running with him, but <laughs> we were up against the wall. <laughs> okay. A new tip added. Nice. A heavy draugr. Have we seen those before? Yeah, yeah, we have. Uh, it takes a beat. It takes a beat for him to recover after swinging. If we dodge, he'll be open to a counterattack. Nice. His attacks are so strong, it makes blocking them really hard. Father should probably just dodge them. Okay. That's why when I tried to do a perfect parry, it just knocked me down because they're obviously super strong. Oh, wait. He has a... He has one for Brock. I don't think I read that one, did I? We met this dwarf on our way to the mountain. He's a blacksmith, a famous blacksmith, apparently. He made the Leviathan axe. He upgraded it for father too. He was a little rude and grouchy, but I kind of like him anyway. I hope we meet him again. All right. Do I need health? No. So there's another one here, but if I release that lever, we're going to get squished. Oh. Okay. 
I want to see real quick if I can open it more and then freeze it. Let's see. It's coming back down again. Yep. All right, that gives us a little bit more time. There's another one over here. That wall has spikes. But I think it's interesting that there's one on the other side, too. All right. Back down. All right, let me open this door. Now, boy. Coming. That was definitely worrying. Okay, good. He's safe. So what about this? I guess maybe that How are you not tired? Keeps it open too. Hang on. Oh, I missed. I just want to see if this does anything different or it's the same. Okay. I guess we'll eventually go up there, but I do see I wonder what happens when it goes all the way down. Can we make that jump? Oh, it turns into a platform, kind of. Can I jump up that? No. <gasps> oh, that scared me. Wasn't sure we're gonna get out of there. Trust I will not let us die. Trust I will not let us die. All right, there's another one over there, but... How to see it. I think this will put us right back where we started. And... Wait, no. Have we been through there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was with the doors. I don't want to do that. Can I see it from this angle? Maybe I have to be over there. Actually, no. If I lift us up a little... Nice. Oh, there's the last one. Nice. What's that? Horn of blood mead. Legendary. You've collected one of three horns of blood mead needed to increase your maximum rage. Reminds me of the, um, what was it? The horn? The, like, mantis horn or whatever. Blood mead is a rare drink that makes one's rage run deeper. <laughs> Find the nine total horns in the world in chests locked by magic. Every three you collect will increase your maximum rage. Okay. So we have a rage meter and a health meter that can be increased. I think that's everything in here. Oh. What's making that sparkly noise? Maybe it's just that health that's standing there. All right. This way. Ooh, a mask. Let's go. Wow. I'm guessing wow. that's the mountain. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. Come 
собой. It has to be so hard to open your heart again after everything that you've went through. One more for the collection. Nice. We have four of nine. Poor Kratos. All right, we can't go up there. Nothing left to see here. Okay, let's keep going. Oh. Hey, look at that! What is it? Boy. Look, there are runes written along the side. What does it say? As we are, we two, we three. As I alone can never be. A riddle. Hmm. Maybe there's a clue around here. Okay. Looks broken. I also see one of those shield things peeking through. Or I guess they're more like a lever. Seems like maybe those rings should be turning. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Okay. The rings are turning. Come back down. Nice. I don't know. Which one should I be hitting? There's three of them. Oh, but you could freeze those gears if you wanted to. For sure. Oh, that was late. Oh, am I trying to make this line up? Like a puzzle? Wow, this is really cool. <laughs> All right. I think that part's right. Yep. All right. Thank you, broke it. <laughs> all right, let's wait for this to go all the way around. Then we'll do the outside one again. Here we go. We have to wait for it to get all the way around again. What do those runes say? Oh, it says family. That's not a clue. It's the answer. What I alone can never be. Right? Use your knife and trace the runes into the sand. Really? Kinslow. Something happened! Wow. It worked! Okay. I'm happy with my Brock, but I'm happy we're leaving this place. It is behind us now. Should I be killing these crows too? <laughs> or just the sparkly ones? Someone was staying in here. Why is there food inside of that deer? And there's a bunch of crows hanging upside down. It looks like they've been here recently. Ooh, good fun. Just because the food is still looking good, there's it doesn't... Up there. And there's money? Maybe it's just like an offering of some sort. Maybe to Odin or I don't know. He said there's something up there. Oh, yeah, the bird. The crow. Oh, 
There we go. Alright. Boy. These tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure. But I'll find. Go. Okay, so we're gonna hunt. For a warrior to keep his skills sharp. That's true. Oh no. Another troll. Focus up, boy. Oh, what's that? Whoa. Is he okay? Get away from that. <laughs> I hear something to my left. Okay, there's another mist. I stepped in the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. It drains my health so much to get hit by the fire. Wow. I need to stop stepping in the fire. I'm going to die. All right, let's get... There's someone behind me. I'm going to get this health over here real quick. Let's focus on this guy. Okay. This one. Okay, there's another one. There's behind me. Oh, I didn't see that coming. That was bad. I kind of need help, but I don't see... Okay, I see one over here. Okay. It's just taking a while. And he's getting angry now. That leg just completely went off of him. <laughs> nice. Dang. Alright, he's almost dead. He just needs... A couple more shots. Stop! <laughs> He's just filling around like crazy. Nice, let's go. dropped off of him. Ooh, some steel, a beach dairy update, some hack silver, health, and something else. Invaldi's anvil. Heavy runic attack. Oh, nice. A devastating area of effect attack that freezes all enemies caught in the radius blast. Nice. 
Hold L1 and R2. Devastating area of effect. Okay. Can I put this on? I'm trying to remember how to do that. Oh, yeah. It's equipped. Okay. It says E. So now we have Hell's Touch and Invaldi's Anvil. How do I do this one again? L1, R1. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know how to do that. So this one is L1 and R2. For a blast around the area. Very cool. Let's try it out. That's awesome. I hear a raven somewhere. I'm sure we'll find him eventually. He's in this area. Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. So let's just kind of... We came from over there, didn't we? I think we came from over there. I don't know what that noise was, but it sounded magical. Maybe I just picked up some random coins on the ground. <laughs> this. More hack silver. Nice. Okay, I think that's everything up here. Now we find loot and then we move forward. I did see a big chest over, I think it was over this way. Boy, I hear your animal ahead. Mm. All right, let's not go get the boar yet. I want to still explore this area. There's a lot left for us to do in here. <laughs> here. What does it say? The rune symbolizes the three Nornir. Nornir? The fates. The fates. No good comes from them. Okay. <laughs> I wonder, I'm guessing because it's such a big secret <laughs> that Kratos is keeping from from his son that it's eventually going to come out, right? It has to. He can't go his entire life without knowing who Kratos actually is. It just doesn't seem... doesn't seem likely. Whether it will be that he has to tell him because... Oh, it's time. He has to tell him because of everything that's happening with Odin and they're being chased down or whatever, or maybe he'll finally just tell him. So I see one over there. See one right there. Oh, okay. There's the three. All right. So let's start with the farthest away one first. Dang. Oh, that was way off. Oh, I hit it on the way back. Let's go. Hmm. No. Nice. An apple! Was that our third? Nice. We get a health increase now. Alright, so let's see what's over this way. I guess we can't let him up there. We'll eventually bring the rope down, but... How do I get up there? Hmm. 
Maybe it's like an eventual thing? Okay. I don't know what we're still doing here. <laughs> He's always like egging us on to keep going. It's kind of funny. All right, let's go hunt down his boar now. I can hear it, I can't see it. Oh, there he is. I hear... A crow. Shoot when you're ready. Remember, draw to your chest. Wild boar's height is thick. L2 to study your focus. But I hit it, didn't I? I did what you said and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Okay. I know you're here, Odin. But where? Stay alert. Oh my gosh. Where's those people? There he is. Something else. Wait, where's our... There we go. Something else. Some of the bodies are those weird dead things. Yeah. We go in here. Money. There's Drogger here too. They must have been fighting. Yeah, looks like it. Looks awful. Okay. Where is he? Oh, he's over there. Can we get into this house? I wonder where we are right now. Does it tell us our location on the map? The river's pass. Okay, so we're just in the river's pass still. This map. Um, okay. <laughs> There's money behind here. Or maybe a mask. Oh, yeah, it's a mask. Nice. Six of nine. Okay. Yeah, these poor people are just massacred here. Is there anything in the trees here? Nope. Ah, <gasps> one. Holy crap! Ah. Oh! Okay. I 
I don't love how they just like come charging out at you. It's so scary. Gets me every time. Okay. Let's keep going. Look, it squeezed under that pillar. Elbow up, steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Uh, do not lose it. He dropped his knife. I heard it clink to the ground. He's just so excited, and Kratos probably sees it as a weakness. Boy, find Atreus, Atreus. Boy, oh gosh, why would he run off? Where are you? Hurry, father! I found it. Atreus. Is this a cave? Wait for me, boy. Father, over here. Well, he doesn't sound like he's in distress, but the music. Address. Oh my God, he's not answering. What did you do? <gasps> I'm sorry. Who is that? Atreus! The music is so like worried, Father Kratos. It's amazing. We didn't know he belonged to anyone. He what? doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm I'm so so sorry. Keep that pressure Aww. on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Okay, hold L2. Okay. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Gray This way. I'm guessing she made all of this greenery and the red petals and everything that's around here. It looks nothing like we've seen so far. Well, we have seen some of the red colored trees, but that not- That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She had to grow into it. Sanctuary. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She, she's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm sorry for your loss. This place is beautiful. I wonder if she made all of this or if we've just discovered a different area. But since she's a witch, I'm assuming that she's done We're all here. of this. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. It's a huge tree. Heavily! Look! It's alright. Whoa. Is he friendly? Boy. 
I promise you, he's safe. This is wild. This is really neat. He looks friendly. Yeah. This is amazing. Look at the front door to her home. And everything that's in this area, it's so beautiful. Wow. Okay. Quickly. Place him on the stave there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Shh. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root grows just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. Fine. Lamb's crest. <laughs> it's funny because we were just talking about that. How he's going to have to tell Atreus eventually. It can't be a secret forever, especially the way that she worded it. Because if Kratos is a god, then maybe Atreus has some of that too. And that's why his rage is so deep and why Kratos is afraid of it. Not only because of Kratos' past, but because he has godlike qualities in him as well. He's going to find out eventually that he's not just an, a normal mortal. Look at all the fish down here. All right, what is this crest thing we're supposed to find? River crest? This place is beautiful. I can't remember where she said it. I was just soaking in the story and I, <laughs> I forgot the task at hand. Oh, look, it's right here. Nice. I want to look over here just a little bit more. Stone. It's crazy because she has the same markings, um, the golden markings that I feel like Faye had, where she marked the trees and they were glowing. So I feel like Faye was a witch too. It hasn't really been discussed or talked about at all, but I feel like Faye had those qualities too. It's so beautiful here. All right, let's go back inside. I don't think there's anything else for us out here. Can you help? Oh, he needs help. I can't quite get it. Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? Oh, you're a kid. If I, if I lost it, then... You did lose it. Oh, 
I'll take better care of it from now on. You have to learn from your mistakes, that you have to make mistakes in order to learn. Tis a part of life. Return to the witch. She's got some mushrooms growing in here. Maybe lavender. Cat's tail. All right. I love how Kratos just like, boom, every door. It doesn't matter. <gasps> how exactly what I need. So he's gonna live? Yes. Then we are leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. You want solitude? This mark will hide you from... those who might make your journey difficult. Yeah, it looks like the same magic. Luna. There's a shortcut below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, boy. So, yes, we will see her again. Probably. I don't feel like we would have gotten this whole character. This underground passage should put you back on your path to the mountain. Just use the boat. Wait, and take this. You can use it to orient yourself and navigate the world. It will always steer you towards your goals. Okay, a compass. Nice. Now we have like a compass on the top. Oh, that's awesome. I Which see a is boat. cave. What? Nightmare! Mom used to tell me about them. Didn't think they were actually real. Nightmares? Yeah. They give people nightmares. Or they are nightmares. I don't remember which. I wish I could ask her. All right, let's see what he knows about nightmares. I'm guessing it's in the beast, Jerry. Nightmare. Mom used to tell me stories about nightmares until, well, I started having nightmares. I'm embarrassed. I was embarrassed, but she said they were just another part of life. And that sometimes there was beauty in the horror. She always saw the upside to everything. Even these creepy little floating eye monsters. <laughs> They're named after an older creature named a mare that sits on your chest while you sleep and feeds off your fear. I actually have experience with nightmares where things are sitting on your chest and it's awful. If I fall asleep on my back, I, I have it happen to me. I haven't had it happen in a while because I try not to fall asleep on my back, but I've definitely dealt with that before. Um, so it's kind of interesting that it's talked about here and that other people have that experience. It's very, very creepy. What's this? I don't really want to like break her stuff. I feel kind of bad about that. Sorry. <laughs> um, but we can look around a little. Betray us to me. Oh, a chest down here. 
Are they gonna come to life? Yep. What's this? Move? Move from side to side. Oh. Whoa. Yes. Doesn't seem heavy. Okay, so that's going to come in handy for something. Oh, maybe we'll push it into the water. All right, let's try. under the surface no it's pitch black then do not touch the water look at that over there i wonder <laughs> what that is huh. all right was there anything hidden behind here yup <laughs> she told us to take the boat but i feel like that was up up in the area over here. I want to go across and try to open that chest. But I'm scared that I'm missing stuff over here. Where is the boat? Okay, so the boat's down there. We'll get there eventually then, for sure. So let's keep exploring down that way. What is that? <laughs> That didn't work. Interesting. Okay, so let's keep traveling this way just to see. Can I jump this? Oh, more of those. Good. Nice, it's another mask. So what are these things? Oops. Maybe we'll find something we can use here. Let's come back. Okay. Yeah, there might be a way to, like, drain this water or something. But whatever it is, we cannot do it right now. That's for sure. There's no way for us to get over to any of these chests right now. So I'm guessing we will definitely be back here and with more skills. All right. Speaking of skills, before we continue forward... Let's go see if we have any, we have a thousand XP, so let's definitely start to do an upgrade. All right, so I read through some of these and decided to do this one. Hold R1 for an axe attack that hits enemies multiple times and locks them down. And then I also want to unlock the, the one with the bow. Increase arrow damage and melee speed. I'm gonna do this one too. And we'll see, we'll see next. I was going to put some into Guardian Shield, but I feel like right now it's not 100% necessary. I feel like getting our axe up, at least all of these top row ones, is really good. And also getting up that melee damage and bow damage too is really important. Um, maybe next time we'll focus on more of the Guardian Shield, but I just kind of wanted to get some more damage up in there. Nice and upgraded. 
So let's go over to the boat now, because I don't think there's much else for us to do until we get some more moves or something. This looks fancy. Ooh, a talisman of concentrated vitality. Gain a burst of health. So we have luck of the ages right now, and it gives us a ton of luck. This one gives us defense and vitality. Um, I feel like vitality could be a good thing. Press L1 and O to activate the burst of health. I think for right now, I'm going to stick with luck of the ages. Um, just because I feel like luck could be a really good thing for us right now. And I don't want to get rid of 12 of it. That's like, that's half. And I don't want to do that. Right now, I'm just going to kind of stick with this. I might end up doing that one eventually, but it's just okay. Over right. there! Things over here. I feel bad for like destroying her stuff, but I want the loot. <laughs> okay. Now we'll get to the mountain quick. Boat towards daylight. I just can't believe I'm here. When all of us. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods. Or even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. Oh. All right, so there's no other way for us to get back over in that other area, it seems. We just have to keep going forward. I was wondering that. Looks like there's also a chest down here, but I'm not sure how to get to that one either. Can we bar boat here? Well, I know we're definitely going to come back to this area because there was no way to do a lot of the stuff here. So I'm just going to keep going, even though it hurts my heart to leave some loot here right now. I know we'll be back. Okay, follow the compass to your next objective. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. <laughs> Look at that. It's Thor. Thor, god of thunder. Lake That's of right. Nine. I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? Interesting. So that's Thor. Holding his hammer. <laughs> All right. I know we're supposed to follow to our next objective, but I just kind of want to look around the lake a bit. Okay. What is that? Is that a wall? Made out of... What are those? Don't answer that. It looks like scales. It kind of looks like... It kind of looks like scales. Hmm. 
Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Maybe we should just follow our objective. It looks like it's heading us straight to that shiny thing. I think I see something. Yeah, the just glowing. Just sitting there in the middle of the light. Okay, investigate the glowing statue. I feel like eventually this lake will drain or something. I'm not sure. I just, I, I have a feeling. I could be way off with that. Out. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? <laughs> the axe did not return. Oh no. That scaly thing was moving? It's huge. Turn on, boy. Okay. Oh my god. What is this? Seems bad. Water drain. Dropped, and yep. The serpent rose. Oh, that must be why Dead. the beach wasn't there before. See? And there's the mountain. Look it. That building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It okay. was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. Okay. Well, the We're water. Going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it who knows how long. Yeah. You know of that serpent? <laughs> he's one of the giants. He's so big he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looked pretty big to me. I see a raven. Can I throw my axe while I'm... No, I have to be out of the boat. Can we dock here? Yeah, let's see what this is real quick. I know that we could probably go back and open that other chest, too. That was in the witch's cave. So we can do that, too. Here we go. What is that? Nightmares. Nightmares, yep. Yeah. There's one behind me? Oh no. Oh, where's my axe? Alright. What is that? A scroll? There was also a bestiary update. I'm just going to read it real quick. The nightmares come after me and try to take me out of the fight, but Father can stop them. Hopefully, he will. 
Yeah, that's sad that it grabbed him. There's also one for the Witch of the Woods and the World Serpent. We met a witch in the woods who knows the old magic. Turns out the magic boar is her friend. She was mad that I shot him at first, but we were able to save his life. She lives under a giant turtle creature, who's also her friend. And she seems really nice. She did seem very, very nice. And that looks like the symbol that she placed on their neck to keep them protected. I feel like her magic was kind of very similar to Faye's. And I'm not sure who Faye was, if they'll dive deeper into it or what. But I thought it was really interesting that there was the sparkly golden magic kind of around her area and the spell that she put on us was the same too world serpent we just woke up the world serpent of midgard father thought he was going to try and eat us but mother always said that uh jormengander jormengander was a friendly giant he tried speaking to us but i couldn't understand him i wonder if that's the language all of the giants speak he doesn't seem very interested in us right now I wish I could talk to him. I have so many questions. Where did he come from? Why does he do, what does he do all day? What does he eat? Maybe he can find another way to talk to him. So we're definitely going to see the world serpent again. That was amazing. I thought he was going to eat us too. I thought we were immediately going to be in this big boss battle, but it did seem like he was trying to communicate with Kratos. I think the troll that we just fought was uh Dalfi Copmore that wasn't the one that we just fought yeah we fought Brenna Dowdy I already read that first one this is the second troll that we've seen so far I had no idea that they were so close to our house they've never bothered us before but I guess we never bothered them either mother said if I ever saw a troll I should run the other way guess she never said that to father I'm enjoying the back and forth Some kind of drawing that he does in his journal Maybe a map? between mother and father oh, maybe a treasure map a treasure map oh it's our first treasure map one rare enchantment and one lepter alloy five solid for uh steel nice and six thousand gold hunter's kingdom mats godner a uh, ruler of man and beast i came to his kingdom to learn if he had abandoned the ingredients to forge the armor of legend all I found was death and sorrow. I leave this offering in memory of those who suffered in the Dwarf King's quest for glory. Okay. Well, maybe if we solve whatever this is, we will get the treasure. Okay. I also know that that raven is flying above watching us. Yeah, maybe I have to be up higher. All right, let's see what all of this stuff is. You know what that does? That lowers down the spikes. Nice. There's tons hey, of treasure over here. A ship's head. Exploring the Lake of Nine, we found this beautiful figurehead. It may be all that's left of a ship that once went on great adventures. I wonder if there are more among these wrecks or beaches. Maybe Brock would give us some hack silver for them. Oh, we forgot to sell that one hack, uh, that one piece to him. <laughs> but we have so many more now, so we can go back eventually. An apple, nice. All right, there has to be a way to get up there, right? Let's see what this is over here. There's something up there. That didn't work. Maybe we have to come from the other way. Let me try to hit this bird now that I'm up here. Ha! 
There we go. All right. Well, let's get back in the boat. I don't think there's anything else for us to do here. Okay. All right. So let me just take a look real quick at what we've got going on. Map markers indicate points of interest on the map and can be filtered by category. So the map updated. Nice. L2, R2 to show the map markers by category. R3 to cycle between actively tracked map markers. So what are these? Boat dock, Isle of Death. And you can add them to the compass. That's nice. Lookout tower. All right. Well, let's keep looking around a little bit, I guess. That's some statue. Who built it, you think? I do not know. Yeah, that is a crazy statue. Oh, good. I was hoping we might explore a little. When we wish to continue our journey. We know to return here. Okay. <gasps> okay. So we will be back here for sure. There's a shipwreck over here? here. Shipwreck. Well, yeah. I wonder why it crashed. Oh, he got money off of that. Nice. <laughs> I hear another one of Odin's birds. Is there something shiny over here? Right here. How can I get him? I'm not allowed to, like, hit him. I guess maybe we'll dock over here somewhere. Oh, look at all these symbols. This has to mean something that we can, like, unlock eventually. For sure. This one has a lever on it. What's that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my god. I don't think we're ready for these guys. Yeah, that was like a one tap death. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> when we're stronger. All right, so I think what we need to do is just go to the main story and we will revisit these places once we're, once we're stronger, once we figure out what all of these areas are and what we're supposed to be doing here. But let's go ahead and walk on this middle dock. That was our next main objective. I think it was over here. I was going to go back to the witch's cave. How long do you think this has been here? A very long time. And explore over there, but we'll have time to go do that again, I'm sure. Okay. Because we're definitely going to go see her again, and that will be a good time to... to explore that area further. Look at the frogs. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sex. It's Brock. Have I got something for you too? 
Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here. I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. <laughs> when word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You right. watch. So we made it to another one of Brock's shops. Very cool. That looks similar to the stone area that was in our yard. Look at the little figurines here. Are these ones that we found that we sold to him? I think they are. Give me your already. I recognize the shit. All right. Catch! The pile of rocks there, with that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches oh. of the world tree. Fast the traveling. Between the realms. Very cool. If you ever see them out in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Okay. Very cool. So now we can fast travel back and forth All between right. those. What'd you break? Talismans, pommels, and enchantments are now available. Armor along with other equipment can be upgraded. Press to select upgrade menu. Uh, upgrading armor improves stats, power, level, enchantment sockets. Got it. All right. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff to him. We have a lot of masks. Okay, 6,000 coins. And the ship head. <laughs> okay. What's this one? Lost items? I don't know what lost items is for. I guess we'll find out eventually. But he has some enchantments that we can buy from him. I don't know about anything other than the luck one. I feel like luck would be maybe good to have. How much are these? A thousand each. Vitality could be a good thing too. And cooldown for sure. Let's do cooldown. I'm not really sure what runic. I have to take a look at the stats again to decide. Runic increases both runic attack and elemental damage. Okay. So that actually would be a good thing. And talismans. Have unique effects that can aid you in combat? They can be upgraded at the shop and improve their effectiveness. The talisman of concentrated vitality we can upgrade. We're not even using that one right now. Apparently we need something called dust of realms, which I have not even seen yet. It's kind of crazy thinking that I am about three and a half to four hours into this game and I have barely scratched the surface of what is found in the game and what we can do and where we can go. I feel like we kind of like just barely hopped out of the tutorial mode as soon as we got our compass, which is pretty wild to think about. Pommels can be equipped on your weapon. Each pommel will increase stats and provide unique perks based on your actions in combat. Pommels can be used to upgrade their weapon stats. Okay. Strength and cooldown is always a good thing. But I feel like luck is just, I don't know. I really like the luck. Increases perk activation chance, increases XP, and hack silver gains. I feel like that will help us majorly in the long run to have good luck. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead with the weighted war handle for now. All right, let's equip that. And talismans. Grant an invisible, invincible barrier for several seconds when Kratos' health drops to a critical level. That's actually really nice. Because <laughs> then it gives us time to like find, find more health or get our bearings or whatever. It will decrease our luck by quite a bit to change out the talisman though. Just because the one that we have now gives us so much luck. So maybe later. Maybe later. So I can upgrade this to make it even better. Good choice. 
Let's do that. And we need some World Serpent Scale Fragments in order to increase it again. Let me take a look at the Leviathan Axe, see if we can upgrade. We need Frozen Flame. Okay. To get it to the next one. Yeah, boy. Talon Bow, we need more steel. What's it gonna be? The Quiver we can upgrade, so let's go ahead and do that. Next, we need more money. A lot more money. Uh, we've already done that one. And the talisman, we can't. We need Dust of Realms. Okay. I think that's pretty good for now. We have some enchantments. We could sell an enchantment. Best of luck with all the rampaging. So let me take a look at what we've got going on with the enchantments right now. Okay. I'm pretty sure enchantments are... Yeah, they go into sockets. So we have the symbol of perseverance which gives us two defense. Um, for this one, we can do our cooldown. And then for that one, we can do the shadow, the luck one. Nice. I don't think we have a socket for this one, right? Yeah, we don't have an enchantment socket. I could buy the the other one. I guess it wouldn't hurt to buy it. So let's go ahead and put that on our talisman, and then we're we're pretty good to go. So I don't know if I should check out what this does. I guess I could. Let's see. For funsies. The journey to there. So we could. Oh, that's the witch's house. Okay. It's like, what is that turtle? So I guess we don't have any other portals open right now. We would have to go back and open the portal again. Because I know that there was one by our house, but I don't see it. Mystic Gateway Points. Yeah, all we have is Brock Shop. Okay. Well, now we know how to use that. So I wonder if the things that we just sold him would be on here. Oh, I guess not. Oh, yeah, because here's all the masks. So it is like a little collection of all of our stuff that we found. That's really cool. I love how they did that. <laughs> it's the little things that make me excited in games. What the heck is that? Okay. Nothing we can do anything with. All right. So let's head back out. This is where we came from? Why is our boat over here? One more for the collection. Maybe it's just another boat? I thought we came from the other side, but Okay. The world serpent is so cool. I love how it's friendly too. Look at the frogs. Yeah, because there's our boat over there. Okay. This place is beautiful. A lever? Into it? Without knowing the outcome, 
Well, we usually push every button, pull every lever we see. True. Outcomes we can predict. No, this is something else. We must develop your instincts. Okay. I knew it. We are blowing the horn. No, we are testing your resolve. <laughs> I have resolve. A bunch of it. <laughs> A bunch of it. I won't blow into it if you don't. Okay. So there's some random horn up here that eventually we will blow into. Got it. Maybe it summons the world serpent or I don't know. I can't even begin to guess. What is that? Baddies. No! Um, Atreus advanced combat. Atreus has gained confidence in combat and will now support Kratos by physically attacking enemies when he sees an opening. These abilities can be upgraded in the skills tab. Nice. to the mountain i'm ready okay there's chests on either side of it hmm. i don't know these rooms if we find a cipher i bet i could figure it out a cipher okay so this takes us down oh look it's the area with the rope all right let's do that first It must be cold here, because you can see Kratos' breath. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, there's a bomb up here. But still no way to get over there, huh? Yeah, not that I can see. Alright, so we can take this elevator back up, right? this one over here let's go see where this elevator takes us and then we'll proceed forward I guess A mask oh hacks over Okay, so there's a lot of places to get to boats again. It looks like we're going to be traveling with boats pretty frequently. Around this area. Whoa. What, was what are those? Someone's behind me. Yep. Where did it go now? Okay. 
Okay. What a way to get in here. What was that thing that came out of the floor? I still can't read these. Okay. I told you. We should come back with the cipher. Oh, I thought I heard something. Another one here. Look! It's the world serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh, look! He bit Thor! Or will bite him. Looks like. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna bite him. What's happening over here? Um. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Let's read about it. The world serpent spans all the waters of Midgard. Maybe the only one enough, big enough to beat Thor. I still can't believe we met him. It is kind of crazy. We didn't get anything new in here, right? Yeah, no. I wonder if these things mean anything. Doesn't look like it's working. Yeah. What is that? Looks like this, this one's awful. missing a crystal. Poison. Yeah. Lore added? What? I don't see anything new here. New lesson? Throw the axe at the scorn poles to freeze them. Okay. That was dumb. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, this place is kind of icky. Rats everywhere. <laughs> oh, whoa, look. There's one of those things there. A big old chest there. Whoop. Okay. I don't know what that thing is. Watch out! I'm not ready. A worm slayer. They're like a cross between the dogs and the <laughs> and Medusa. I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay. What is that? Interesting. Hey, it's a fragment of a language cipher. Oh, nice. You should look for more like this. Muspelheim cipher. Okay, so we need to find four of them. Oh. I don't know what, what those things those are. Things? They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. That's cute. Um, okay. I wonder if we'll have something to do with these... Okay, so we can obviously get back up that way. Yeah, there has to be some way that we're going to move those stones around or something. Because it looks like they can fit inside of that slot or... I don't know. There's something that we're missing here. Um, before we proceed, let's go ahead and look at the codex for our new enemy. Oh, Tazzleworm. That's why it's not under Scorn Pole. It's under Tazzleworm. Part lizard, part cat. A lizard cat, or a cat lizard, or something. Either way, the combination is pretty weird. 
They like to burrow underground to close the distance between them and their prey. Their claws and teeth are extremely sharp, but it's that poisonous barb on their tail that we really need to watch out for. Sounds pretty feisty. Foothills. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Yeah. Another dwarf. Should we? No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. Is this the other it brother? It one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. <laughs> Step aside. I can't. <laughs> See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that <clears throat> you did something to her <laughs> it was my mother's she left its father before she died face dead I'm very very sorry to hear that she was a fierce warrior and a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah. But can you, can you put it down over there? That handle is... No. Filthy. <laughs> okay, then. I'll just... I will just... No wonder why they didn't work out in a business together. They're wildly oh. different from one another. Oh. Oh. Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Okay. Mark of the Dwarves. I just saw we got an upgrade of some sort. Did you really make that axe for my mother? Oh, I'd recognize it anywhere. Ask me. It's one of our best. Infused with the ec Um, I just want to read about this before I forget. Sindri. So his name's Sindri. Also a famous blacksmith, but he and his brother are really different. <laughs> Sindri really doesn't like dirt and grime. Weird trait for a blacksmith dwarf. But he's just as talented as his brother. I wonder why they don't get along. Probably because they are so wildly different. I like how they put the symbols next to... Well, I guess it's sketched by Atreus, but... I like how they put the symbols next to them. Going screams of 20 frost trolls. Give or take. But why her? How did you know her? She sought us out in the beginning. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. I suppose we thought it was a chance to give power to someone who'd use it for good. She even spoke our native tongue. She'd say, Mavurin Sem Gengur, Egen Vigum Hans. Gengur eye. That's right. That's impressive. I see a lot of her in your eyes. You know? Thanks, and Don't touch me. What? I didn't. I won't. I'll come back later. Be careful where you're going. There's nobody nice out here anymore since all the people left. I mean, I hate to generalize, but um, mostly they just try to kill you. Good tip. Yeah. Um, 
I know it's not my business, but if I were you, I'd wash off that symbol painted on your neck. We were right. told it would help protect us. Was that a lie? Oh, no, it's a protection stave, all right, but you can't render that pigment into paintable texture without blending it with boar urine. And is that really better than death? Maybe a little. Yeah. Well, well it's your neck. <laughs> <laughs> he's just such a... He's afraid of dirt. I forget the actual term, like hypochondriac, I think. It's so funny. A dwarven blacksmith hypochondriac. That is something else. All right, so we met the other brother. I wondered if we were going to ever meet and run into the other brother. It's very cool that we did. Look at these statues. I noticed the one over here, and I thought we were about to have a boss fight of some sort just because of the troll statues here. All right, I guess I can see what he Let's has in it. his shop, too. Resurrection stones are now available in the, sh in the shop. Okay. Can be purchased so Atreus can retreat, revive Kratos from death. Trust to buy in the selection shop. Interesting. There's different types. But Atreus can only carry one at a time. To purchase a different one, you must first remove your equipped one. Use it in combat or sell it at a shop. I love how you can sell them back to... Who you bought them from i think that's amazing magical stone that revives from a small death with a small amount of from a death with a small amount of health from a small death um press square when kratos dies to allow atreus to resurrect him and rejoin the fight that's actually really cool it's a thousand coins so i'm gonna buy it okay purchase register resurrection stones will be displayed here okay cool that's actually really nice. Now, there is something else to tell you. What? What is the something else to tell me? Let's get started then. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's go ahead and sell this ship pad to him. Where were you even carrying those? Although, oh, um, if you don't need it, don't buy it. <laughs> I always say not. Um, I wonder if, since I sold that to him, if it'll still be on the shelf at his brother's place. Now I'm concerned. Maybe I should only sell to his brother. All right, everyone, I'm going to stop here for the day because I just looked at the time and it's so hard for me to stop playing. I do not want to stop exploring and put down the game. I'm just so in love with Midgard and every single part of this game. I want to know what's going to happen next. I want to know which abilities we're going to unlock because as we kind of get more involved in the game and out of that tutorial phase, it's clear that... The combat and the talismans and the enchantments are going to be amazing and really, really fun to play with in this game. Today was really interesting meeting another witch that is maybe very similar to Faye. And I love how along our journey, we kind of hear about Faye from other people and it makes me wonder if maybe she knew the other witch or if they herself was a witch too. As we're kind of traveling up the mountain, we're also unlocking more of who Faye was because she obviously meant a ton to Kratos and a ton to Atreus. Really enjoy hearing more about her and what she did when she was alive. It was also amazing seeing the world serpent. I don't know how the world serpent will play into what happens in the game because I know that Faye said that the world serpent is nice and friendly and it was obviously trying to conversate with us in a way. It left us alone and drained the ocean so that we were able to further explore, which I think is really interesting considering that the witch told us that the gods are going to be angry that we're here in a different realm. We're obviously not in the same Greek realm that we were in the previous God of Wars. We're in a completely different realm entirely. And even though Kratos has been here for some time now, I mean, he has a a 10 year old ish son he still doesn't really fully understand or grasp the ways of this land yet and it's very clear because he's kind of relying on Atreus to translate for him and tell him different things about even some of the hunting that was involved in the different animals and what did Faye say about this which I think is really neat too but it goes to show you how closed off 
Kratos seems to have been from the entire world for a while now, and he probably needed to do that to heal. I mean, look at the way that he is still responding to his son. He wants to be a father, you can see it clearly, he reaches out to touch him, but something inside keeps pulling him back, the pain, the hurt. The fear of losing another person that you love is probably very, very strong in Kratos. So I hope that as we get to hunt more with our son and be around him and learn more about Faye and unlock more in this world, Kratos can unlock his heart too to open it back up to fully feel that love for his son that I know he feels, but he's afraid to act on. But thank you all so much for joining me on this beautiful journey, and I can't wait to hop in with you guys again soon. Bye, everyone.